The Bush Company Black Series tent. That's what I'm gonna be reviewing today. So I wanted to give it 12 months before I did a review on this tent, um, just to give it a bit of time, see how it weathered and stuff like that, and to get as many uses out of it as I could before I did a review. I just think that a 12 month sort of thing is a good a good time frame to, to understand a product and get used to a product before I kind of did a review on it. There's other things you can do a review on much sooner, but a tent and like quality of stitching and canvas and mattress and uh, and how it weathers powder coating and the quality of the materials that are used I think needs to be given time before a review is done and it's a it's a it's kind of like that across the whole board of range of camping gear like time frame how long is the thing going to last so today I'm going to go over everything I like about the tent um, the quality of it the, the canvas the build the powder coating how it's weathered and stuff like that. So we'll just jump straight into it and then I'll just start rattling off everything that I, that I love about the tent. Um, so the canvas, I love the color of the canvas that Dino's gone with this nice green um, with the black trimming. It's a real heavy canvas. All the specs and stuff for the canvas are all um, over on the Bush Company's website and stuff. So you can check all that out there. Um, He's got a, this is uh, the fly mesh, so it's not midgy mesh. Um, his new tents, I think, all have midgy mesh. This is one of the earlier models. Um, so the quality of the zips, good solid YKK zips um, all over the whole tent. Um, I love how big, I love that it has three openings on it, so both sides and the rear. So if you have a rear ladder like I do, which I'll turn around and show you now, So I've got a rear ladder, so I can access the tent from the back. Or if you, for some reason, have a wagon or something like that, like a 200 series Land Cruiser, you can access it from the side. So all this mesh rolls down. So all inside the tent is uh, marine carpeted. It's a really nice uh, plush carpet. It's, it's really nicely done. The actual like finish on the tent is really, really good. So like the way they have mounted cables and bolts and everything's done with washers and it's just really nicely done. Like the attention to detail is really good. So um, all this canvas can be removed too. So if you like tear, I don't know, put a big tear in it for some stupid reason, um, a stick jams into it or something from a tree or whatever, you can just take that piece off and, and have it repaired quite easily. All this is just Velcroed on, all the whole, the whole set inside of the tent, basically. Um, I really love that it comes with these pockets just here inside the tent. That's a little power bank that I've made for the tent. Um, so there is an Anderson plug down that comes through the floor. So you've probably seen that in my past videos. So that just comes up through the floor. Then you can add any accessory you want to your own tent. Um, I love the little pockets here on the side they're really cool so you can put your shoes phone wallet things like that in there so so nothing gets lost underneath the mattress or whatever um, the mattress I have actually put a topper on the mattress which I'll show you now so I've got um just normal 
I've just got normal sheets in here on this thing, but um, pull the corner up. So that's the that's the Bush Company mattress that comes with it, and then I've just got this uh, memory foam. Actually, I think it's a latex mattress on top. So uh, as you can see, the when the standard mattress is in there. It sits probably about an inch and a half below the edge of the body of the, the tent. But then when you put a topper on there, it sits kind of dead flush with it. So the, the standard mattress is okay. Mattresses is hard for like a tent company, I think, to get right because some people like it firm, some like it soft. And I think it's easier just to throw a firm one in there. And then if you want to put a topper on it, you can to make it softer. So that's kind of what I've done, just put a topper on there, but it'd be good if tent companies could kind of, I think maybe give an option. So the, t the mat, and I think the mattresses need to be a lot thicker. Um, yeah, I know that's gonna put up price and stuff like that, but I think more in rooftop tents can be done with mattresses to make them a lot better. Cause there's pretty much everyone I know that has a rooftop tent has got a topper in it. So. I think there's more of a market there for the softer side of things than the firmer side of things. So it could be an option to have a firm mattress or you can option to have the softer mattress, which may just be a thicker memory foam mattress, like, I don't know, maybe 150 thick or something like that. So just something for tent companies to think of in the future to have two options for mattresses. I think it'd be a good idea. So, but yeah, that's what I've done. But the standard mattress is comfortable if you like it a little bit firmer. Um, it's not it's not too bad, So, but I've just put the topper on there to soften it up. So the spring poles that hold out the uh, awning that go into the bottom of the tent there, I've found that, um, again, it's like it's steel, so it's, steel kind of gets a memory. So, and they are spring steel poles. I've just found that sometimes every now and again, I've got to like bend them out a bit more straighter because every time you bend it, you're slowly giving that steel a memory and then the the rain fly just becomes a a little bit like loose and floppy and you just don't have enough tension on it so but that's kind of it's kind of something that you can't really get around um with this with the spring steel but um yeah so that's just something to to consider um i love this rain fly that covers this um i really want to have a look at an alpha the new tent and see how big that rain fly is. It looks very big from the videos. And I think I'd probably prefer to have an alpha with a smaller awning on it, like a smaller rain fly. But you can take this off if you don't want it on there. It's just that uh, in that, that piping strip um, up there around the outside of the tent. And then the sides just clip on um, down the other end around there. So it's very easy to take it off if you don't want it on there. So I also like that Dean's got the mesh on the outside of the tent and then you can roll up your canvas on the inside. So that way you can uh, simply, like you can adjust the airflow just like that. So that way you can let however much air you want to come in and not the other way around. Because then if you've got to do it the other way around, then you're kind of letting bugs in. So that's kind of a good little feature. Um, and then on both sides, on the top and bottom, he's got your little... Uh, where are they? Your little straps there with the um, clips. So you can roll up each or either the clips for the um, the mesh or you can roll up the canvas down at the base. Um, one thing that I didn't like, um, one thing I don't like is um, just, uh, I think these should be, they're a bit, they're a bit crap. They should be like, I don't know, aluminium. If you get some aluminium ones that are like rubber coated or something, because obviously aluminium is going to make a tinging sound when they, they flap around if they're hitting metal or whatever. But yeah, I think that's just one improvement, just a bit better of a clip on there. But these ones have been fine. I've just broken one because I got it jammed in the side of the tent. So it's more so my fault, really. Yeah, I think it might be on the other side. So that's the clip. There that I broke, I got it jammed in the side of the tent and then I squashed the tent on it, so yeah. If they could be a uh, an aluminium or something, I think that'd be be a bit better, something a bit more hardy. But that's probably like one of the negatives 
that I think I'm going to be able to think of with this tent. Um, but really nice mesh. It's really thick. But again, I think all the new ones are midgy, so I don't think the mesh is going to matter for this review. So as in um, like warmth and stuff inside the tent, it's been really good. I spent last night in it, and that was probably one of the warmest nights I've had inside this tent. Um, I do have my Darchi Cold Mountain sleeping bag, which is a minus five, but it's a really nice sleeping bag in here. I leave all my pillows in here, leave the, I leave this in here, so it's always ready to go. So there's plenty of room to leave pillows in. Like I'll fold this up exactly how it is right now, and there's plenty of room. So I've got two square pillows down the back and then two boomerangs. And then I've got this nice big thick um, Darchi sleeping bag in here, so fits all that stuff fine. You can leave clothes and things like up here as well and whatever else you want. I put the spring poles up here as well so they're always ready to go. So the light in the tent is really good. You've got amber or you've got the white light um, and I haven't had any dramas with it at all. It's a nice little LED light. Um, plenty bright enough for the tent as well. So and the tent it's uh it's very dark in here when you close it all up. Um, even so it's really good if you want to sleep in or whatever you're not going to have light blaring in but all the the hardware that they use so all the uh, bolts and the zip ties there drilled through nice and tidy so it's all protected it can't get damaged so that's the power that runs up to the uh, the light up here but there's plenty of room in here for two people all day long being 1400 wide um, it's a really really nice roomy tent so I would really like a 1600 wide for the F truck as you can see my uh, my canopy hangs out about a hundred mil on uh, either side of the tent so that's probably majority of it for the inside it's pretty basic the mattress the canvas the interior, um, the materials used in there, the little power system I've got, the pockets, um, the mesh and stuff, the clips, zippers. So yeah, moving on to kind of the outside now. Um, the outside is weathered really, really well. This powder coating is brilliant. It hasn't faded whatsoever. The only thing that's really faded on the tent is the uh, little plastic clips there they're always pulled down like that that's the only thing that's kind of faded on me um, all the hardware's in really good condition all the silicons still working really nice so it's uh yeah it's weathering really good um, the pinch rubber seals really well around the around the outside there um, then you've got this big lip just here so if I can get that to kind of come off you can see the the lip there so that's here on the outside so you've got a nice big bucket nice big bucket of uh, material there where everything in the tent sits in and then the water's got to kind of get up and over that lip to actually get in your tent when it's um, pulled down so but good rain fly kind of protects you when you're getting in and out of the tent um, I'm running the Z rails underneath the tent so they're Dean's actual rails that he supplies as well so they're just going through the uni strut as you can see there so that's how I've got it mounted to my canopy and the extrusions are really good you can mount things all over this tent and even the new um, alpha you can mount things on the side you can still mount things on the side of this you've got a nut zerted or pot rivet things on there um, but because I've got the uh, I've got the awning on this side and I've got the uh, you can see the um, shower on that side. It's all nut zerted on there. The boys at Mitts did that for me. Legends. So that's all for underneath it. Uh, the back side, inside. Um, we'll just walk around the front now. So as you can see there, I've got my uh, shower mounted to the side of the tent. It can take the weight of an awning and a shower on there no worries at all um, I live really close to the coast so that's about all the rusting that I have on the tent is that little strut there just a the little base section of it because I yeah 
but that's I'm on the coast. Like I'm literally, I can hear the waves crashing. So it's uh it's weathered really well. Um, I'll show you up here where I've actually <laughs> I've damaged it myself. So as you can see, this buckle here and this uh this isn't doing real good here this uh bracket so i actually hit the top of my awning my carport <laughs> with the tent but um it's fine it lasted took the took the punishment i just belted it back a bit with a hammer and uh yeah it's been fine so um i love the struts on the top as you can see the uh i've got the solar panel up there so it's good to mount a solar panel on it and then you've got the two rails that run down the side to put gear and stuff on. I think Dean recommends like 50 kilos kind of max on these roofs and kind of spread it out a bit if you can. Um, yeah, but it seals really well. It's been a really good tent. Uh, the powder coating hasn't faded at all. The uh, the roof of the tent's looking a bit, a bit shitty, but aluminium does that, especially being so close to the coast like I am. It's going to get that little kind of pitted effect to it, but there's nothing you can really do without that unless you're going to sit up there and polish it every day. And I sure as hell is not going to do that. So, but um, I'm just trying to think what else I can say about it. Would I buy another one? Yes, 100%. Yep, I'd buy another one. I actually am thinking about selling this one to my mate because um, he's looking to get rid of his uh, back tracks tent so i'm thinking about selling this and buying the new alpha if dean has any available so but the construction of the tent is really good it's really solid uh, the body of the tent is really solid so it's a good it's one of those things that you will buy a tent you'll spend the money on something like this and then it'll last you 10 15 20 years um, unless you're in a really corrosive environment or something like that but it's gonna, if you look after it, which I don't, I just, whatever, it is what it is. So. It's uh, such an awesome afternoon here on the farm. So I've got the, uh, the Bush Company awning on there as well, which I think I'm gonna tear off. Um, not because anything to do with the awning. Um, I just, I don't use the side access to the tent anymore because my canopy is too wide. My canopy is 1600 wide on the top. And yeah, I use the, the Mitz Alloy ladder now on the back there to access the tent. So when I go somewhere, I can't set up my awning because it's 270, it comes all the way around and then comes back to there. So I can't access my tent. And because I don't want to carry two ladders, that's kind of stupid. I think I'm going to take this awning off and sell it. And I'll probably get a 180 awning that comes all the way back and just comes back parallel with the vehicle. And then one that also folds forward, but then covers all this space out here over the kitchen area and then I can peg it down firmly if I'm staying put for a few days so but the tent can take the weight of the awning no worries at all I've got those big stainless brackets up there that the guys from Mitz made me up to kind of step the step that out off the tent and it's holding in there very well so it's been good um, I think that's probably, probably about it for the tent. Um, you've got access, like I said, mentioned before, the access points on all the sides. Um, you can use the existing ladder that comes with the tent. So as you can see here, I can't put a, I can't put a ladder here because it's going to hit the door of the canopy trying to get up there to that clip. So hopefully Dino makes a, uh, 1600 wide tent here soon for the American market. It'd be nice and I can uh, get one of them for this big girl. So and I might sell this tent to my mate. He's pretty keen to buy it and get rid of his, uh, his backtracks one. So just have to check on availability. These tents are, um, there is a wait list for these tents. They're very popular. So if you want one, kind of get your order in and you just got to basically just wait until it shows up at that point. Um, Mine wasn't too bad. I think mine took about four months to come from when I ordered it. But uh, yeah, it's all about supply and demand and they're such a good tent that um, I was willing to wait, wait that little bit and just continue to use me swag for the moment. But 
No, the uh, Bush Company Black Series tent is a great product. I love it. It's awesome. Haven't had any dramas with it. Um, no water coming in at all. Uh, the canvas has been awesome. Stitching's been great. No issues with zippers. Um, yeah, the only issue I had was those little plastic clips that retain when you roll the material up. But again, that was my fault. I didn't watch what I was doing and I crushed it on the side of the tent. So, yeah. I can't really say too much <laughs> bad about the tent and I, I try to pick out things that I don't like, but this tent, it's good. I love it. So, yeah. And everyone else that I know has one of these. I've contacted them and they've said the same same thing. They, they love it as well. So, yeah, good tent. So, good Good job Dino at the Bush Company and all the guys and girls over there. You've made a bloody awesome product. So, and I'll definitely probably be buying the, the Alpha here soon. I'd say probably one of the, my favorite things about the tent is how quick it is to actually like set up and pack down. It is so fast. And if you've watched my, I did a video on the whole kind of back end setup of this truck, just how quick it actually deploys just undoing the latches and letting it up. Like you literally, it's less than a minute to set the tent up. Like you literally pull two latches, let it push the gas struts up, move your bungee cord, which holds your material in. You just fold that up to the top, as you see me doing the start of the video. Put your two spring poles in and you're done. You just maneuver your bedding around. I kind of consolidate my bedding to the center of the tent. That way when I fold the canvas in, the canvas has kind of got somewhere to go and it doesn't want to kind of keep pushing out. Um, it's it beats because you just you have all your bedding in there all the time you don't have to cart like all the rest of your shit in the canopy or take up room on your back seat everything's in there and like i just went to a mate's party last night all i had to do was throw some clothes in my truck i knew that all my bedding was in my truck i knew my pillows was in there i just i knew that i had phone charges and everything inside the tent already so i have everything in there and i just shut it and I know that if I want to go somewhere, it's not a drama trying to find all my gear and get bedding out and pack it away in bags and stuff like that and take up extra room in the truck. It's it's all in the tent. So that's probably one of the main things I love is how fast it is and that it's one less worry in my mind when I go away that, shit, have I forgotten a pillow or I've forgotten this. I just know it's always in there and I just leave it always in there. So that's um, probably one of the coolest things about a rooftop tent. But yeah, so this thing's got plenty of room. You've got a massive amount of, of top space there to put all your things in, which is really nice. So. so it's a bloody awesome afternoon. Just got the truck set up here. I'm just kind of hit two birds with one stone. I uh, went camping last night, so I kind of had to set the tent back up today to let it dry out. Got a, got pretty dewy down there yesterday, but Couldn't get a better day today. It's done nothing but rain, so it's so nice to finally get some sunshine for a day. So yeah, the Bush Company Black Series tent. It's a winner in my eyes. If you're thinking about getting one, you won't regret it. It's uh, yeah, bloody brilliant. So make sure you guys are uh, yeah, like and subscribe and um, comment in the video if you've got a bush company or you're thinking about getting one, any questions you've got, and I'll try and get back to you. And yeah, make sure you get out there and have fun and just bloody gay camping. Let's go do it. Stop thinking about it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See yous.